So now let me talk about this project a little bit. I'm going to explain what are the skills required for me to be able to design this whole system completely on my own. And also the software I used. And then in the next videos, I'm going to present those softwares to you. And then you can decide for yourself if those software are worth investing time to learn more about them and how to use them properly. So this was a project in the process industry, industrial refrigeration system. So we had two parts of the system, or better to say three parts. We had two compressors, screw type compressors, 160 kilowatts and 132 kilowatts. You can see the soft starters. Let me just, so. These are the soft starters we used to drive those motors of the compressors. So that was all together in these cabinets we had about 700 ampere. So those two 160 kilowatts, 132 kilowatts and then in this cabinet around 100 kilowatts of all the other consumers. So the fans, the pumps the mixers and everything else that was necessary for this technology to work. So the first part, the compressors, the second part, the technology, so the cooling system and the third part is a control system. Let me just find the PLC cabinet. This was during the commissioning, so it's a little bit messy over here still have the instruments and everything but this is now commissioned and everything is okay so this was our plc cabinet the plc we used the siemens s7 1500 i normally work on projects for customers in europe and siemens is a big player over here so we mostly use Siemens PLC. This was a freestanding enclosure PLC cabinet and then over here this was the power distribution cabinet so the soft starters in this first cabinet then the main power distribution system and then on the other side all the other consumers so about 100 kilowatts. So how this project started, my colleague contacted me and if I was available for this project, for, of course I had the time and then we had a meeting with the customer and they gave us the input for me, for the electrical design engineer. So it was a PDF document. It was a, that's a nice document to start with, a document that enlisted all the power consumers, all the sensors, all the measurements, all the devices we're going to use in the, on this project. And that was definitely very valuable document for me. From this document on, I could design the whole system. We had a special requirement, so they wanted to have the possibility to control the whole technology also in hand mode, so automatic via a PLC and also to drive some motors in hand mode. That's why you have so many push buttons and lamps over here. And it's a little bit crowded. They get my guys from the panel builder, they could mount the bush buttons and lamps a little bit with the distance between them, but it is as it is. The system works perfectly, so we can live with that. Also the customer, which is very important, of course. A special requirement, hand mode and automatic mode, and this PDF document with all the power consumers and all the 
control equipment and from this point on I could design this whole system completely on my own I got all the part numbers all the data from the manufacturer so that, that was great we had to of course dimension the soft starters accordingly for the for driving of the compressors I also had to dimension the power distribution system so as I said we had about 400 kilowatts of the power consumption and for that matter we had to dimension the power supply cable and also the bar spar system as you can see over here it's 60 millimeter bus bar system and we are driving about 700 appears through these bus bars and this is completely possible because we used central infeed system so we had about 300 kilowatts in these cabinets and 100 over there so the current is splitting to this side and to this side and that's why on the bus bars inside you don't get the maximum value of the current that the bus bar can carry in this case it was a 30 times 10 millimeters bus bars and they could carry normally about 630 amperes but as I said it wasn't an issue because the current is splitted in this point and only the main bus bar the infeed bus bars had to be a little bit thicker so 50 times 10 millimeters so the first thing I had to do is to dimension the power distribution system to do that I used software called Simaris Design I'm gonna talk about this software in the next video I also used software from all the other manufacturers like from ABB, Eaton, Schneider Electric this one is for Siemens that I used Simaris Design and it's according to my opinion by far the best one out there on the market of course there are some more complex software you could use to analyze your power distribution system but since I only had the dimension the protection devices and the cables this kind of software was more than enough for me and it's also completely free of charge so that's also something to take into consideration another big, big issue on this project was heat dissipation inside the cabinets especially in this one since these two, two soft starters from Danfoss for their nominal current they can deliver they shouldn't be operating at more than 40 degrees Celsius so we had to make sure that the temperature inside this cabinet doesn't go over 40 degrees Celsius and since we commissioned this system in the summer so the worst possible scenario we also immediately got the proof that our climate control system for this cabinet is working properly so it's properly dimensioned so to dimension the climate control system for a cabinet I use the software called Retail Therm it's also a free of charge software from Retail and I also have some customers like Volkswagen that even demand that I do the heat dissipation calculations in this software and then, then, then I hand over the report of the calculation as an integral part of the project documentation when working on project for Volkswagen as I said that was a big issue so for this cabinet also we had to make sure for this one since we have a lot of bus bars and the main circuit breaker and also for this cabinet since we have a lot of consumers over here also the frequency converters and over here are small soft starters 
those were 11 kilowatts altogether we ended up having a lot of fans so we were able to avoid installing air conditioning system which is pretty much expensive and it was definitely as we've seen during the commissioning this was a completely acceptable solution so to go only with fans now the other thing when I dimension the power distribution system and when I generally of course I first created the circuit diagrams then I conducted these heat dissipation calculations and the software I use to create circuit diagrams is called Deep Land Electric P8 I worked in this software since 2010 when I started to work as an electrical design engineer and of course there are a lot of other solutions on the market and also dedicated solutions when you work in some industries like in the process industry you have also some software that combine the creation of piping instrumentation diagram with the instrument loops with the data sheets with everything but for now across industries anywhere I worked there was a lot of demand for this software of course I'm gonna also talk about this software in one of the lectures to show you the key features and the benefits of using this software in particular to be honest I never tried any other software because I just didn't need to most of my customers demand the knowledge of Weeple Electric P8 on the other hand it would be helpful for you to learn the basics of AutoCAD to draw layouts for example for the cables for the cable trays for the grounding system so those kind of layouts sum it up regarding software so I use Simari design for the power calculations I use Vital Therm for the heat dissipation calculations also called heat loss, heat load, power loss and at the end e Electric P8 to create circle diagrams I also worked a lot for years in AutoCAD but never to create circle diagrams only for the layouts for those kind of drawings that's about it for this video in the next video I'm gonna present the key features of Simaris design and the things this free of charge software from Siemens can do for you